I've always had a special place in my heart for MMA. I always enjoyed watching it. I still try to stay in shape as best I can. Back when I was playing professionally, summertime was the time where you would, you would use to get better. My name is Darren Williams, and I'm a former professional basketball player. I play point guard, kind of control what goes on on the floor. You dictate the tempo of the game, kind of where the ball goes. My first sport was wrestling. Wrestled for nine years until I had to stop. Same season as, as basketball, so I had to give that one up. Obviously made the right choice. Today's trainer, is he's, he's kind of special. He's a special trainer, you know? Usually, back in the day, I would haunt the reporters, man. I'm like, stop asking a stupid question, bro. Next question. Like, I'm, I'm, I was that guy, okay. My name is Uriah Hall, and I'm a professional mixed martial artist. So I met D. Will around the first time I came out here, maybe 2019, 2020. Didn't really know who he was. Uh, I don't really follow basketball that much. You know, we train in the same group. We're like teammates, basically, from an MMA standpoint. Warm up with like a little bit of ladder, just kind of get the body, the body moving. Do, doing some work on the heavy bag. You know, sometimes when we're working together, whether uh, he'll show me some wrestling moves, because that's his first um, type of training, or I'll show him some striking because that is my field. You know, we cross-reference each other, and that's the cool thing about this gym, you know, it's a, it's a huge camaraderie where we build each other up. He's been training in our gym for four years now, and so i uh, become pretty good friends with him and, and enjoy training with him as well. I am part owner of, of the gym here, Fortis MMA. I have been since 2015 is when we opened, and so I've, I've been a part of it from the beginning. I think what motivated me uh, back when I was playing was just winning. You know, I love to win. I love to compete, so I think that's kind of what, what motivated me, is just the, the thrill of winning and competing. To see him transition that into the fight world and how his mindset was just dead on focus, there was no distraction, he just went out there and just obliterated his opponent. I mean, from a, a competitive standpoint, you have to work hard with that. I feel like he's very talented where he can mold himself in anything he touches. I watch some of his games and you know his footwork is really great. It's a cross-reference when he moves around here and do boxing or kickboxing. Uh, having that footwork and having that agility really helps your game if you're competing at a higher level because you know you gotta hit and move and not get hit. When I was in school at Illinois, I definitely had some, some challenges along the way. You know, I wasn't used to the cold coming from Texas. I didn't like it. My last year was my junior year. Um, we started off the, se the season 22-0. and 0. We were number one all year. Had a great season, it kind of propelled me. Uh, to where I was number three in the draft because of because of the, our run that junior year. Yeah, I mean, one of my most memorable games was definitely our Elite Eight game. We were down by uh, 15 points with three minutes to go, which is a lot of points for three minutes. I remember our coach telling us, just chip away, just get it to get it to 10, and we got it to 10. And he was like, well, just get it to five, and we got it to five. I hit a shot, you know, with a couple seconds left to, to tie the ball game. A couple more more big threes in overtime, and we ended up winning that game and going to the Final Four. Definitely one of the most memorable games that uh, a lot of people have in Illinois history. What are we doing? We're just doing some basic combination. Just get your arms rolling a little bit. Make sure you keep your distance, good range. Nothing too crazy. I never had anything that was, you know, really catastrophic, but I just had a lot of a lot of nagging injuries that kind of just piled up you know, over the years. And so that was something that I think mentally took a lot of, of uh, strength to overcome. Um, a lot of, you know, positive self-talk that no days off comes to effect where, you know, I got you always got to be doing something to, to improve and to get better and get healthy. No days off means to me is just working on your craft, working on yourself. You know, you can do stuff for your mind. Um, you still can do stuff for your body that's not strenuous, but it's helping you, you know, recover. Active recovery days, pool workouts, meditation. You know, there's there's so many different things that you can do um, that will help you as a as a as a athlete. Talent is great, but if you have talent with hard work, you can do anything. Thanks to everyone for checking out my video. To check out more stories like mine. Make sure to like and subscribe.